Hi, and welcome to Dr. Vanderveen's AP Chemistry Podcast. Today we're talking about lattice energies. Now, the objectives for this podcast are to define lattice energy, which may be a new concept for many of you, and to relate trends in lattice energy to the ions present in the compound, doing some practice problems. Essentially, what we're talking about here is the formation of ionic bonds and what causes them to form. And we know that ionic bonds form when electrons are transferred from one substance to another, usually from a metal to a nonmetal. And I've got a typical formation reaction written here. So we take solid sodium, react it with half a mole of chlorine gas to form one mole of solid sodium chloride. And we've got the enthalpy of formation here off to the side. And the negative sign is showing us that this is an exothermic process. And it's giving off 411 kilojoules of energy for every one mole of sodium that reacts completely. So it's highly exothermic. Now let's think about what we know about ion formation. We know that it requires energy to remove an electron from a metal atom. We call this ionization energy. All right, so for one mole of sodium atom, to form one mole of sodium ions and an electron, this requires 495 kilojoules. So delta H here is positive 495. Now, when you transfer an electron to a nonmetal atom to make an anion, this is an exothermic process. So if we have gaseous chlorine atoms, we add an electron to it from the sodium, we form the chloride ion, and 349 kilojoules of energy are released. So the delta H for this reaction is negative 349. And remember, in the previous reaction, it had been positive 495. Well, if we look at just the sum of these, it's clear that this is going to be a value greater than zero. Right? So just these two processes together are endothermic. But we saw in the previous slide that the formation of one mole of sodium chloride from its elements is exothermic. So what gives? What's going on here? And the answer is that the formation of the ions isn't the whole story. When we form the ions, they're oppositely charged. And oppositely charged ions are going to be attracted to one another. So the ions are attracted to each other. And that's the other energy piece. Right? And so this causes the ions to form a crystal lattice. I've got a picture of a sodium chloride crystal lattice here. And you can see the alternating positive, negative, positive, negative pattern in this very tightly packed, rigid arrangement. All right. So when we talk about lattice energy, we're talking about the energy required to completely separate a mole of, ionic, uh, of an ionic compound. Whereas, of course, before we were talking about the backward, the reverse reaction. All right. So if we have a, so a mole of a solid ionic substance and we break it into its ions, all right, this requires a certain amount of energy, all right, which means the reverse reaction must be very exothermic. All right. And so that's what drives this along, this compensate. Now the magnitude of the lattice energy depends on two things, the charges of the ions and the radius of the ions present in the bond. There's even an equation that relates these. So we know that as the charge increases, if you look here, as, as Q1 and Q2 get bigger, E is going to get bigger. But as the distance between the ions gets bigger, the energy is going to decrease. And that all came from that simple equation. Or it's actually, I guess, more proportionality at this point. What I want you to pull out of this take-home message here is that lattice energy increases as ion charge increases. And lattice energy increases as the ionic radii decrease. 
and it's a small ion are going to have a higher lattice energy. And the more charged the ion right, of the higher charges you have, the higher lattice energy you will see. And this is really what I want you to focus on, not so much the math, but these relationships. You need to know them. And these are the kinds of questions you should be able to do. So let's look at a practice problem. It says, which of the following isoelectronic ionic substances would you expect to have the greater lattice energy? Potassium fluoride, calcium oxide, or scandium nitride? Justify your answer. Well, let's start by looking at the charges. We have Kf, CaO, and SCN. Well, potassium is a group 1 metal. It should have a charge of plus 1. And fluorine is a halogen. It would form an ion with a charge of minus 1. Calcium oxide. Calcium has a charge of plus 2. The oxide is minus 2. Scandium is a group 3 metal. It's got those two S electrons and one D electron. It typically is going to form an ion with a charge of plus 3. And a nitride ion isn't common, but can form, and when it forms, it has a charge of minus 3. So just based on charges alone, we would expect that as we go from left to right, the lattice energy would increase. Right, so the answer would be SCN has the largest lattice energy. Because Q1 and Q2 are the largest for this particular set of compounds. And it's got the highest charges. Let's do a problem. The lattice energy of NaF is 910 kilojoules per mole. The lattice energy for NaI is 682 kilojoules per mole. Well, let's start by looking at the charges again. Sodium is plus 1, fluoride is minus 1. For sodium iodide, sodium is still plus 1, and the iodide is also minus 1. So it's not about the charges here. Let's think about trends. Now, they both have the same cation. They both have sodium. So that's not going to be what causes this big difference. It must be something about the anions. If we look at our anions, we have fluoride ion and iodide ion. And if you're looking at your periodic table, you recognize that they're in the same column. And as you go down a column, ionic radius increases. In other words, the iodide ion is, has a much larger radius than the fluoride ion. And we know that the lattice energy is inversely dependent on the distance between the ions. And so in the sodium iodide, the ions are farther apart. Because of the iodide ion having a larger uh, inter, uh, larger radius, the ions have a larger internuclear distance. Therefore, NaI has the lower lattice energy. See you next time.